and the legacy of his life. We thank you for what a good father and grandfather and husband, and uncle and friend he has been to all of us. And we pray that we might aspire to live our lives <coughs> as he did. And we thank you that he is now safe in your presence. We say this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Processing Grandpa's death this week over family text. Uh, there have been two themes that have been dominant. One was how glad we were that that, uh, that Grandpa's not suffering anymore. That he's not trapped anymore in a body that um, wasn't really functioning properly. And uh, the other thought was just how great uh, it must be to be back with Grandma, uh, with Mary. Um, from what I know of Grandma and Grandpa's faith, I think you all know they were members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They, they believed in a loving God and that we are God's children and that uh, we were sent here to receive mortal bodies and to eventually when we die return to God and I know that they believed in Jesus and that by following Jesus' teachings that be happy and when things end through his grace that we could return to live both with him and with those who are dear to us um, there is a quote that I wanted to share from someone who at least in the LDS faith had been a prophet, his name was Joseph F. Smith, and he said, I believe we have, we move and have our being in the presence of heavenly messengers and of heavenly beings. We are not separate from them. We are closely related to our kindred, to our ancestors who have preceded us into the spirit world. We cannot forget them. We do not cease to love them. We always hold them in our hearts, in memory, and thus we are associated and united to them by ties that we cannot break. If this is the case with us in our finite condition, surrounded by our mortal weaknesses, how much more certain it is to believe that those who have been faithful, who have gone beyond, can see us better than we can see them, that they know us better than we know them. We live in their presence they see us, they are solicitous for our welfare, they love us now more than ever, for now they see the dangers that beset us. Their love for us and their desire for our well-being must be greater than that which we feel for ourselves. I love the thought that Grandma and Grandpa are back together. Uh, and that maybe even if I mean, Grandpa might have better things to do, but Grandma would have made sure that they're both here. <laughs> uh, and I'd like to think that it's more than just a comforting thought to get us through the hard times of funerals, that, that this part within us that yearns for this kind of reunion and for this kind of thing to be true is something from God himself to indicate to us that this is what waits for us and for them, and that they are near and will remain near even if we can't see or feel them. I believe that, and I know that they believe that, and I'm happy for that reunion, and I'll be glad one day to hopefully see them again, to give them hugs, and for Grandpa to tell us some more stories. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Father, in the 
the name of Jesus Christ and by the authority of the priesthood which I hold, we dedicate this grave uh, of Alfred Feicher as his final resting place here in mortality and bestow a blessing of protection on this particular site. And bless his memory to permeate and pervade those of his predecessors and those who will continue to follow in his footsteps. We bless them to remember his cheerful, loving character and nature and his adventurous spirit. We bless them to feel a spirit of unity and of love draw them together. And life is more than getting together at weddings and funerals. We bless this to be a sacred and a hallowed and a holy place and for the opportunity to be reunited with him as loved ones, family, and friends once again. And this blessing we pronounce and bestow in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.